my camera out. Hi guys, haven't seen you in forever. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Monique Burton. I'm a conservation scientist and I'm also a personal trainer. Um, I have a vegan fitness coaching company called Project Wild Fitness and our mission is to teach people how to be healthy, to get the healthiest you can be, while also being kinder to the planet through a whole foods, plant-based diet and strength training. So. Go check that out. It's uh, at Project Wild Fitness on Instagram or at Monique Burton with um, two eyes, And I'll link that down below. This is my fourth day in Thailand, I think. Um, and I'm just super excited to be here. Like, crazy. I know, I haven't, I have not picked up the camera in so long. So I was in Thailand earlier this year and then I um, went back to Maine for the summer and I was working in the United States. And now I'm back in Thailand. I'm in an island called Koh Tao. Um, and I'm doing a scuba diving marine conservation internship. So the New Haven Dive School is the school I'm affiliated with. And so our goal is to go out and maintain the reefs, uh, make sure that the marine life is doing well, where you do ecological monitoring. And we also lead, we lead uh, other students on dives as well. So the dive school is like self-sustaining school. So yes, just to catch you guys up on that. This is my bungalow behind me. I'll give you guys a tour later. So I actually just went grocery shopping. Me and my friend Beth just went for a really cool snorkel on uh, Shark Bay, which is you know, it was about a 25, 30 minute walk from us. We don't have um, mopeds or scooters yet. So I'm about to cook food for the first time since I've been here, which is exciting. Because as you know, maybe you don't know, but I love cooking, I'm vegan. So, and cooking has always been like therapy to me, especially since going vegan, so I love cooking. But, you know, traveling, cooking is really hard. Just got a bunch of stuff at the store to cook, and I figured I would pick up the camera and just talk you guys through what's been going on in my life so far. So this is my bungalow, it's cute. This is my, that's my little closet, my wetsuit. And my little fridge area, my bathroom's in there. And my bed table and then yeah that's where i'm gonna be cooking i was able to get all of this food for um 500 baht which is about 15 dollars so yeah i'm gonna make some like a stir fry yeah this is actually laundry detergent i need to wash my laundry and i got these tupperware so i can bring food to work when i go um to the dive school for the day because i scuba dive like two to three times Monday through Friday, so it's a lot. If someone's telling you that it's the same amount of money to go out to eat as it is to cook, they're wrong. You actually save a lot of money when you cook your own food. And I'm actually here on a budget, you know? Balling on a budget, traveling on a budget. So I will try to give you guys some tips on how I travel across the world on a tight budget and also how I travel across the world on a vegan diet, because that can be hard. But yes, I'm gonna get to chopping and cooking and trying to figure out how to turn that on, which I think I can do, but wish me luck. Okay, so I got my <clears throat> stove top. I'm very proud of myself. I'm just cooking some rice. <laughs> then I'm gonna chop up some veggies over here. All right, so I'm gonna wash, I'm gonna go wash this in my sink. This is all my veggies that I got. So exciting. I'm gonna go wash it in my sink in here. Right in here. It's my bathroom. I have a giant spider that lives in here as well, so. All right, I wanted to show you guys how I <clears throat> made my fried rice. It's so exciting. Hi, fried rice. Let me flip the camera around. Okay. So I just cut all my ingredients up and I put them on a plate because I don't have a cutting board. Um, I brought some coconut oil with me just for skin, hair, nails, cooking, all the above. So I just um, cooked up my mushrooms and my chili and my garlic first to get all the flavors out. And then I added the cabbage, some chopped up carrots, and then this green, this green vegetable. I think it's something similar to watercress. I could be wrong. I don't really know what it is. But I have uh, eaten it before here in fried rice. So then... Um, I added this all to the pan, and then I just added the rice that I had already cooked, which I have in here. And I got some mushroom-flavored soy sauce from 
This is, you can't see it, but it's in, um, it's in Chinese and Thai. And then this is my favorite soy sauce of all time, guys. If you can get your hands on this soy sauce, all right, this is what it looks like. This is the best soy sauce you'll ever have in your life. What the first wrap? This is what the this is what the first batch looks like. Let's do a little taste test. Wow! I could taste the coconut oil, but it's really good. The fact that I took coconut oil with me. <laughs> <coughs> I also got kind of sick. Uh, as soon as I got to Thailand, because I actually went and surprised my boyfriend in uh, Colorado on my way to Thailand, because he thought he wasn't going to see me for four months, so that was super cute. But anyway, he was sick, his roommate was sick, and I got sick uh, on my way to Thailand, basically, then I got here and I got sick, so that was fun. Anyway, I'm feeling a lot better now. If you can, bring coconut oil with you, you never know. Never know when your lips are gonna get chopped. You never know when you're gonna need, you know, some skin or some hair uh, oil, or when you're gonna need to cook with it. So bring some coconut oil. My finished product of my Thai vegan fried rice. They always garnish with cucumbers here in Thailand, so I thought I would do that. And I got these cute um, reusable cup. Guys, this is Beth. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> Beth is from the UK. Yeah, from the south of the UK, on the coast. Beth is doing the same internship that I'm doing. Yeah. And we met each other right there. <laughs> she pulled up in a car, I pulled up in the back of a motorbike, and we were like friends, and then we just became friends. It's been great. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Beth lives up there, my up house. that street. We have four dogs. Yeah, so I, it's I really nice. That That's with a bunch of people from the program that we're both doing. And then I live back down that road pretty far. Not that far, but... Cute, we're neighbors. Yeah. Neighbors, and then there's cats. That's my landlord's house. Took the. You have to share our amazing driveway. Oh, our yeah. swimming pool entrance. We have a moat. <laughs> yeah, so it rains a lot in Thailand. It's just the rainy season. We have to go through these puddles every time we walk down our road. raincoat because it looks like it's gonna rain up there it's the end of rainy season but it's actually been raining not that much we really lucked out with the weather but you never know it changes really fast here this is another puddle that we're having to cross love that for us and she was like, come try my food. So definitely gonna go, me and Beth are gonna go try this now. What did you get, Beth? Oh. <laughs> I got Penang curry, which I have actually made before. And it's really, really good. So good. And I got some Tom Yum soup. Your little mushrooms are so cute. There's some shroomies. We got rice. Oh, yeah. Can I have one Yeah, just one. Thank you. Chapanka. Yeah. So exciting. I'm starving. <laughs> like palm sugar. Palm sugar. Maybe. This, this is where we do our grocery shopping. Well, our dry goods. <sighs> the real world is over there. Oh. <laughs> but you have to go to different stores to get fruits and things like fresh vegetables. These markets are for your dry goods. Which is something we just discovered today, so. So I thought I'd bring you guys to the beach. This is right in front of the dive school that me and Beth dive at. It's called New Haven Dive School in Kotal. And this is our beach. Well, it's been all cute. So this is the dive school restaurant right up here. It's called Kopi. 
I don't know if you can see it, but it's really good. They're just putting up fairy lights. So you can go eat and chill there. Um, we can go and sit by the pool there after we go diving at a coconut. It's a great time. Honestly, I'm so happy here. Like Everything about this place is absolutely gorgeous and 10 out of 10 recommend, especially if you want to go diving. It's probably one of the best islands you can come to to dive. I just feel this sense of calmness when I'm here in Thailand that I don't really get to feel in the United States, so it's really nice being here and being around people from a different culture. It makes me feel more grateful, more appreciative for what I have and what I come from. And every time I'm here, I'm like, I don't think I want to leave, and I don't think I want to leave anytime soon. I'm supposed to be leaving here in March, March 10th, so that's in about 70 days from now, 72 days from now. I forgot to tell you guys that there's random dogs. There's random dogs everywhere. Dog under here. Dog over there. <laughs> what a life, hey? Hmm? What a life. <laughs> what a life. So I don't know if I've actually properly properly updated you guys on what exactly I'm doing here in Thailand, but I am part of a marine conservation program called the New Haven Reef Conservation Program. And what we do is we go out every day to the to the coral reefs that are around the island of Koh Tao in Thailand. So there's both natural coral reefs and artificial coral reefs, meaning that they are man-made. And so our role as interns for the conservation program is that we go out and we assist um, our program manager named Kirsty on our scuba dives every day and we do ecological monitoring so we monitor different uh, factors of the reef to assess the reef health so basically we'll look at the different taxa of coral we'll look for coral diseases we'll look at the biodiversity of the area we'll look at all the different marine life in the area to assess whether the reef is healthy or not and there's a series of reefs that go around the entire island. So we're actually in a bay called Chiluk Ban Lok Bay. And um, it's really beautiful and it's got really nice shallow protected waters. And um, <laughs> I got really nice shallow protected waters that's actually sheltered by the bay. So we don't get a lot of the waves that you see on the other side of the island. So we're in a really, a really nice area that's not populated a lot by tourists. So I'm very fortunate to be here. It's very chill, it's very calm, lots of beach vibes. And so what our day typically looks like is we get up around 8 a.m., have some breakfast, and then we come to the dive school, we have a lecture. Basically it's theory for the day that we go over the plan, we go over what kind of surveys we're doing on our scuba dives later on. And so it's mostly like a brief for what we're gonna do when we get under the water. Because when you get under the water, when you scuba dive, you know, you lose the ability to communicate, to talk. You only use hand signals, you only have your eyesight, you can't hear anything either. I mean, you can kind of hear, but you get what I'm saying. So it's really important that we brief each other before we go into the water so we know what the plan is when we get down there. Um, so yeah, so that's what we do. And then we go scuba diving between 2 and 5 p.m. And our dives last anywhere between 40 minutes to up to when we run out of air. So that could be around an hour and 15, an hour and 20 minutes. And our depths that we go, we can go anywhere up to our, our deepest dive so far has been 30 meters but to do our monitoring and our reef surveys we usually go between 8 to 12 meters deep and so that allows us a good time to get down and to really look at the marine life and be able to see what's down there get up close and personal to it and we actually have a slate that we use underwater so we record data underwater um, and yeah, then we come back all together in a group and we go over what we all collected and what we saw underwater and we talk about that and we compare our results to each other. So it's going really well, making a lot of friends. Went out last night, today's Saturday. It's Christmas Eve actually right now, or it's Christmas. But we went out for the first time last night in Sari, which is the main beach, and it was really fun. I'm struggling with the hangover, but I'm still thriving. And yeah, making so many new friends with so many people from different cultures from all over the world. Honestly, this is exactly what I need to be doing and what I want to be doing at this point in my life. 
this, the way that I got this internship actually was so random. I just felt a bit complacent, didn't really know what I was doing. I might move to San Diego, didn't know, and then I just ended up Googling. Uh, I Googled conservation jobs in Thailand, and then this ad came up for this internship. I applied, and I was offered a position right away, so I knew it was a fit, and it just worked out really well with my timeline. So I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be doing what I'm doing right now. I feel very fulfilled. I'm eating the best food. I'm learning a bit of Thai. I'm making really good friends. I'm just really happy. So if you guys are out in life and you are feeling complacent, you're feeling unhappy, I encourage you to go after that thing that you've always wanted to do. Because there really is no better time than now. Right now. There is no better time than right now. There's my words of wisdom to you guys. Um, I hope that you are enjoying this update of my life. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for being here and for watching my YouTube videos. I'm trying to get better at posting regularly, but you know, you know how that goes. Um, but yes, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated with more videos that I post. And I'll see you guys in the next video.